Hi everyone, Simona here from Vector Twist. In today's tutorial, I would like to show you my five most favorite keyboard shortcuts that I use in Adobe Illustrator. They really helped me to save time and I thought it would be great to share them with you. Here in Adobe Illustrator, you see one of my recent creations that I've done. It's a speed art I created for 2021. You can watch it, the link is in the description. And I'm going to show you my five most favorite keyboard shortcuts by using the examples of the pieces that I have on the artboard. Now before we start, please take the time to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, so you'll be notified when the next Vector Twist tutorials are live. So without further ado, let me show you my five most favorite keyboard shortcuts in Adobe Illustrator. The first shortcut I'm going to show you has to do with the optional alt key. Now the optional alt key is really important, especially when you work with Adobe Illustrator. Now on the artboard, the elements are all grouped together. I've created several groups within a group, so everything is really organized, and I have tons of elements, and I don't really want to ungroup anything. But what if I would like to change one of the elements? Now I don't have to ungroup in order to select my pieces, I can use the direct selection tool. So once I select it in the toolbar, then I can click on the elements that I would maybe want to change. Now, for example, I would like to change, if I zoom in, this particular stroke. I have one shape with a fill and then another shape on top just with the stroke. Now, I can't use the selection tool. If I switch back to it, it will select all of my group. So I have to work with the direct selection tool. Now, I can select my shape with the fill quite easily. But what if I want to select just the one with the stroke? Now, if I click on it with the direct selection tool, you can see that it does not select all of my anchor points. Now, for example, I would like to shrink it down a little bit or even move it out of the way. And since I would only selected a tiny piece of the path, if I were to move it now and click on it, it would just alter the path. I want to select all of the shape. Now, I could press and hold the shift key and then click on each and every single point to select my whole path, but there is a much easier way and you can do this much faster. All you have to do is press and hold the optional Alt key. You'll see that your cursor gets a little plus sign, your direct selection tool, and then we're just going to press on one of the anchor points. Once we do that, all of the anchor points of that particular path with just a stroke will be selected. Now I can just grab the piece and move it out of the way and then create more elements to my artwork. Now this is the first keyboard shortcut that I use on a regular basis. Now let me show you the second one I use a lot as well. For this example, I already created one of my pieces for my artwork, but I would like to add maybe another element to it. I would like to use the 3D tools in Illustrator and make my life easier, and I need to create a shape like this, but round. Now the starting point would be a circle and then a line. I want to make sure that the line and the circle are aligned in the middle, but I don't want the line to go all the way through my piece. And then I would like to distribute the line all the way around. Now, of course, you have heard of the rotate tool. So you would select your line and then click on the rotate tool, double click it, and then in the pop up window, you can set your rotate angle. But as you've noticed, the reference point is put in the middle. Even if you choose the reference point when you select your object and set it anywhere else, it will not change it, it will always stay in the middle. But of course there is a way to change this. And this is my second shortcut that I use on a regular basis, and one of my favorite. So all I have to do is select the rotate tool in the toolbar, press the option and I'll key and hold it, and then let me zoom in so we can see it better. Once you press the option or alt key and you hold it, you'll get a little minus sign with the cursor that you get from the rotate tool. With that, you can then set your reference point where the object is going to get rotated around. I'm working with the smart guides so I can see the center point for my circle and then I click once. I'll get the rotate pop-up tool and then I can set my angle. Let's say I want to rotate it 18 times around. The angle for this would be 20%. So I'm going to press copy and then I can create more copies around. Which again brings me right into my third favorite shortcut in Adobe Illustrator. And that's the duplicate command. All I have to do now with everything still selected, 
press the command or control key and D on the keyboard as many times as I need to. So I'm pressing command or control plus D and then just keep pressing D on the keyboard while I hold the command or control key until I have all my duplicates on the artboard. And this is my third favorite keyboard shortcut in Adobe Illustrator to duplicate my elements. And now we can move on to number four. This particular one is not very often known and you can find it in the Pathfinder panel. So I'm going to open up the Pathfinder panel and then I would like to cut my pieces up. Now I have my lines that I just duplicated. I have a ring. So when I select all of it and then hit the divide in the Pathfinder panel, everything gets cut up and then I can color my pieces if I'd like to. But I don't know if you've seen that I have extra pieces left over here. Now if I switch to the outline mode, I have all of these pieces that I don't need. Now just to switch back to the preview mode, if I select all of my shapes and then give it a stroke, I would have these pieces in the middle. These are sort of leftover pieces that I don't really need, but I can avoid that. And I can do this with the Pathfinder. So let me undo. So this is the starting point we have. We want to basically remove everything in the middle at the same time. So we just have the ring cut into pieces. Now all we have to do is go to the Pathfinder panel, open up the menu, and then choose Pathfinder options. Now here we want to select the second checkbox called Divide and Outline will remove unpainted artwork. Basically everything in the middle here will become unpainted, which means it doesn't have a stroke and it doesn't have a fill. And I don't have to go back and search for it and then delete it one by one. So let's check this here and then press OK. Now we're going to select everything again, go back to the Pathfinder and then hit Divide. Right away you can see I have nothing in the middle left. It has been all deleted automatically. Just to show you when I go to the preview, I have nothing extra here in the middle. Now I can just set my stroke and then I have my pieces. And then with the 3D tool, I created another piece for my illustration. And now we come to number five of my favorite shortcuts in Adobe Illustrator. This one isn't really a keyboard shortcut, but it's a really neat trick to select elements where I want to change the color, either the fill or the stroke or both, without affecting anything else on the artboard. Now the example with my illustration of 2021, I would like to change the color of the stroke. I would like to change this particular one and give it a lighter color. Now of course I can use the select same stroke color, but that will also select all of the other elements on my artboard that have that particular color. You'll notice it is quite often in my other elements, so I don't want to do that. And of course I don't want to just select each and every element and then change the stroke color one by one. That would take too much time. But there is an easy way to actually select only that particular color in your particular group. Now it is important that the elements are grouped. Now I know I grouped everything here. Now all I have to do is right click and then choose Isolate Selected Group. Now I'm in my group and it is isolated from everything else. And then I can go back and select the element where I want to change the stroke color, go back to select, same, and then select stroke color. And now it only selects the stroke color in my isolated group. It will not affect anything else anywhere on my artboard, even though they share the same color. Now this is really nifty and really great if you want to change something really fast and really easy without affecting any other elements on your artboard. Now I can go to my swatches panel and then just change it into a lighter color. And then I just click anywhere on the artboard to exit my isolated group. And this is it. These are my five most favorite keyboard shortcuts that I use in Adobe Illustrator. Now I hope these keyboard shortcuts and the small tip with selecting an isolated group will really help you to speed up your workflow. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. And hit the notification bell to be notified when the next tutorial is live. I'll see you then.